we are implement one protocol ah. suppose the hdlc okay right uh, how we can check this one how you will check check uh, you implement one transmitter mm. suppose you implemented one transmitter implement a counterpart bf transmitter or? module and ah. receiver, module. receiver module we are sending the top one top module ah, integrate and uh, we can uh, some test cases no 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 what what do you have to do okay i will tell you what is exactly happening mm. okay so if you are saying you are having hdlc so mm. one top module yes in that one transmitter is there and one receiver is there yes so this is rtl top mm. okay so inside rtl top transmitter as well as receiver yes now suppose you implement a transmitter first yes so in order to verify the transmitter some verification engineer need to implement a receiver yes okay so your verification engineer will implement receiver module yes okay so this transmitter will send a transmission yes it will send the packet with these fields okay your receiver will uh, receive the data and keep it in some memory mm. okay after that whatever the data he, he has transmitted for this memory mm. it we will cross compare this thing and will perform data integrity check mm. whatever data we have transmitted that is we received or not okay. okay similarly when you want to check your receiver when you have implemented receiver mm. i need to implement one transmitter mm. Okay, I will implement and I will verify this receiver. Now you got. Yes. So this is these are the bus function models, which we will we will use in order to verify. Okay, okay, okay. Right. In order to verify ITL, you have to uh, uh, implement one bus function model. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Same way you have to perform here. Your fundamentals should not change here. Uh, definitely, four uh, three interface, in which two interface are must. one is file interface and one is processor interface yes. application interface will depend upon the requirements yes. right so crc you got okay we'll ask it. what is the objective of crc what is the objective of crc <laughs> so actually uh, crc means you got in order to check the integrity of the data so abort sequence in between if suppose processor want to abort the sequence some uh, error happened now processor want to terminate reset R not reset uh, reset means uh, reset is a feature given to uh, you can say user suppose your machine hanged <coughs> what do you will do reset ah. suppose right this is transmitted this is receiver okay that is hung here okay did not get okay 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 then huh okay okay right then what <laughs> what do <you laughs> Ma, once again i am not getting your question my question is this one transmitter transmit the data okay 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 in the middle middle of the transmission hanged okay okay the data is hanged okay i don't know <laughs> whether the data is hanged or <coughs> not okay it is possible or not i don't know okay. but it is it is a condition right okay hanged okay what they do the hdlc or the processor so processor will terminate the uh, retransmission it depends if you are in uh, in hdlc there is no retransmission mechanism okay uh. so then uh, that the that particular data we can no i think uh, when processor will come to know that uh, data we didn't receive the data mm. means uh, like in uh, usb you are having retry mechanism